I've been traveling into Rwanda and Uganda for almost two decades now to go and look for mountain gorillas. I think this is one of the most exciting African experiences you can have. There's my wife just a few meters away from one of the troop members of the Sousa group, which is one of the more difficult troops of gorillas to see because they're usually up fairly high on the volcano. This is one of the best organized conservation projects of its kind. The money that is raised from tourists going in to see the gorillas goes back into the local economy. And because of that, the people see a benefit to keeping these gorillas alive. There's now over 600 of these mountain gorillas, up about 100 from the years when Diane Fossey was watching these gorillas, the woman who made these gorillas so famous. It looks like this little fellow is adjusting his belt, and I have to wonder who's watching who. The gorillas are so comfortable around people, they're not tame, they've just been habituated. There I am filming the gorillas using a tripod, capturing moments like this the baby gorilla climbing up on his mother's head to get a better view of us looking at him. These gorillas live in their salad bowl, feeding on a couple of hundred different species of vegetation throughout the year. The youngsters, when the adults are resting during their midday siesta, are busy playing. Here they are on a jungle gym. These are two and a half to three year old youngsters, and the one on the top is about to get pulled down by the one underneath. And it's behaviors like this that are absolutely captivating to watch. They look like dust bunnies underneath your bed, these black little fuzz bunnies. Oof, a foot in the face. But the guy on the bottom is gonna get the guy on the top. I'm gonna get you, oh, 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 oof. And then as I was filming, the silverback appeared. And the silverback is the male who's in charge of the troop. It's a male-dominated society. And he was he provides stability to the troop. And here he came out and did a chest beat. They do that out of enthusiasm and exuberance. And he's obviously telling us that these are his girls. A very exciting moment in our gorilla watching. And to finish off our African experience, in the setting sun that evening in Uganda, some pygmies came and danced the night away. Oh, oh, oh.